presenting Bryant Young for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Hall of Famer Eddie DiBartolo Jr. Mr. D and Kai, thank you for serving as my presenters. I'm grateful to the Hall voters and humbled to join the 2022 class and 29 former 49ers who preceded me. I proudly wore gold throughout my career. I'll cherish this jacket for the rest of my life. Today, for me, is about faith football, and family. My wife, Chris, and I met at Notre Dame. We've been together 31 years. And what a journey. Six kids, careers, injuries, life-altering losses. Kristen, my partner in all things, co-heir in Christ. You embody much of what this jacket and this day represents sacrifice, selflessness, integrity. I love you so much. Five of our children, Kai, Kennedy, Bryce, Camille, and Bo, are here. They're tight knit. You should see our family's text thread, which we call Fam Bam. Kids, I admire your courage, determination, maturity, and resilience. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. I'm proud to be your dad. I love you. My father, Tommy, is here with his wife, Charlotte. He served the Army, Peace Corps, his church, and 38 years for Ford Motor Company. Dad, thanks for sharing your wisdom, planting a spiritual seed, living humbly, and showing me the meaning of hard work. I love you. To my older brothers, my biggest cheerleaders, I'm proud of our bond and your bravery. Tim, your recovery from cancer. Carlos, your service in Operation Desert Storm. I love you both. Our mother, Alice, passed away in 2020. She had an innate sweetness, warm smile, and her own unspoken love language, cooking for family friends and successfully overcoming personal challenges. Mom, I think of you often, and I hope you are smiling today. I love you. Our extended family and friends have been a constant, comforting presence in my life. I wish time permitted me to name you all. My love for you runs deep. Thank you. I deeply respect our game and want to thank some of the many support who supported me along the way. Although I thought I'd make a fine fullback, my high school coaches at Bloom in Chicago Heights, they put me where I belong, in the trenches. At Notre Dame, Lou Holtz preached trust, care, and commitment. Team over individual, we over me. Aaron Taylor, my college teammate, became much more my best man, brother for life. I was fortunate to be drafted by and play for the 49ers a championship organization led by competitive, compassionate owners. Mr. D, Candy, John, Denise, Jed, thank you for all the love, kindness, and generosity you've shown. 
I was fortunate to work with strong coaches. George Seifert challenged me to elevate my play. So did Steve Mariucci, who kept us focused during playoff seasons and the rebuild. Position coaches Dwayne Board and Dan Quinn were honest, fair, and supported me in good times and bad. There isn't time today to properly honor teammates, some sitting here feet away. All I say for now is I never, ever wanted to let you down. Thank you. <laughs> to my opponents, utmost respect. It meant a lot to learn that several offensive linemen I faced over the years spoke up for my candidacy. Thank you so much. Finally, the 49er faithful. Let's win another Super Bowl. Football also brought adversity. During a November 1998 game, as you just saw, versus the Giants, my right leg was badly broken. There were complications. I could have lost my leg. I fought back, playing another nine seasons. But while dealing with the injury, Kristen was pregnant with Kai. Few knew it at the time. Rather than being cared for, Kristen was caring for me. My vulnerability and loss of control were disorienting. I learned some things about trusting God, living with doubt, accepting help. We passed a test, but another loomed. I've introduced five of our children. Now I'd like to let you meet Kobe. Born in August 2001, Kobe loved life. He had an infectious smile, many interests, including football. He was a happy kid. In fall 2014, when he was 13, Kobe started having headaches. A CAT scan revealed a brain tumor. Kai had just had knee surgery and deserved our full attention, but our focus and hers shifted to Kobe. Five days later, surgeons removed the tumor and told us it was cancer. Kobe was back at school eight days later. His spirits were good. He had the heart of a lion. My injury seemed trivial. Knowing radiation would weaken him, doctors told Kobe to give up football. It absolutely broke his heart. He turned the page and focused on basketball. The treatments were hard. Kobe showed immense courage. He felt good for months. We really were hopeful. The following October, Kobe said, Dad, I have a headache. The cancer was back. Doctors tried immunotherapy, but it has spread too far too fast. Kobe sensed where things were heading and had questions. He didn't fear death as much as the process of dying. Would it be painful? Would he be remembered? We assured Kobe we keep his memory alive and continue speaking his name. On October 11, 2016, God called Kobe home. Kobe. You live on in our hearts. We will always speak your name. You know, noted writer, author Brooks compares us to a grove of aspen trees with a single root system. That's you too, Brooks writes. You're not a tree. You're part of a vast root system and you need to cultivate your system. Not just look out for your tree. I stand here thanks to my root system, my wife, family, and friends teammates, 
my football brothers, the University of Notre Dame and the 49ers, coaches who saw potential and honed it, doctors, trainers, spiritual mentors, and our church and school community, and above all, a gracious God. I'll close with some lessons I've learned along the way. From my pain, I found purpose. Letting someone grab my hand is as important as reaching for theirs. In an isolated world, personal connections matter more than ever. I keep my gaze on Christ and pour myself into good works, including the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. And I've learned to trust God's plan and timing, not mine. In this, my 10th year of eligibility, I entered the hall as a member of its 22 2022. 22. It was Kobe's favorite number. Thank you.